I'm going to show you how to create an animated Google Classroom banner using Google Slides and a website called talltweets.com. Tall tweet, what Tall Tweets does is it'll take an, one of your Google Slide decks, the, like the one we're going to create right now, and it will turn it into an animated GIF. So first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open Google Slides. You're then going to need to change the size of your Google Slides. So how you do that is you go to File, you go to Page Setup, you're going to change it to Custom. We also need these to be in pixels. So the, so the size of a Google Classroom banner is 800 by 200 pixels. By 200 pixels, okay. And this is the size that we need. Now what you're gonna do is you can get as creative with it as you want, but just know that you're gonna have multiple slides. And when you pull your slide deck into talltweets.com, it'll do like a stop motion animated GIF based off of whatever slide combo animation that you choose. So I'm going to do something pretty simple. I'm just gonna do Rosie the Riveter. I already have her saved or copied. I love Rosie the Riveter. I teach US history, so it would be appropriate for my class. I'm gonna change the background color to be kind of like the Rosie the Riveter poster. I'm going to throw in maybe a word bubble. And I'll do like maybe a little welcome um, saying for the first day back or first week back or so. And you can change your Google Classroom banner throughout the year. I know I do. I usually change it based on the unit that we're in. So you can even say this could say like your current unit that you're on at the top. You can change it all the time. It's so easy to do that it's, it's, it's totally worth doing. Okay, so here's my first slide. And I'm going to go over here to the left and I'm going to copy that and paste it. And then I'm gonna start doing my welcome. So I wanna do my W here on the second slide. Let's make it a little bit of a bigger, oops, bigger font. Okay. And then I'll copy that second slide and paste it. And, and now on the third slide, I'll put the E. And I'll do copy, paste it, fourth slide, I'll put the L, and so on and so on. So I'll just finish this off real quick. Okay, almost done. And the E. Now you can get as creative with this as you want. I'm just doing something really quick to show you. And that's it. So now I have a sequence that I want my um, animated GIF to kind of look like. It's going to flow into kind of like welcome being typed on the screen. And then I'm going to go to talltweets.com. It's really easy. If you've never used it before, you're just going to select presentation. It's going to pull from your Google Drive. So that's this one. Oops. And it's thinking. It'll take a moment. But I promise you it'll work. It's pretty cool. You can think about other ways you can use this as well. I've had my students um, create animated PSA um, little infographics using tall tweets as well. Okay, so it says GIF image width. We know that that's in pixels. That is 800. And oops, 800. And how long do you want your each slide to last? I'm going to put 0.5, so that's like half a second per slide. But you can make it longer or shorter. You can kind of play with it. And then you just click Create GIF. It'll take another second to process. It says GIF is created, and there it is. And then you're going to save it. It's going to download. OK, so now what I need to do is I need to put it into Google Classroom. So I'm going to go to Google my Google Classroom. And I'm going to pick, I have a, like a test dummy class that I always play around with, so I'll pick that one. Let's see, period five, that's my test dummy class. And to change the banner in Google Classroom, you're going to go upload photo. 
and I'm going to drag this GIF that we just made. And there it is, all done.